Hi, my name is Anshuman. Hi, I'm Shudip, and we are the co-founders of Redisys. We are working on our first product. It's a wearable device product for runners, and we are building a product that we believe is very, very unique. Unlike all the other fitness trackers that you could see in the market, we focus on a running form of a runner, and not just on the statistics of number of steps or the calories or the distance. What we believe in is if you can track how a person's running form is and whether that running form is appropriate for that person, you could help the person run better, prevent injuries, and eventually get gain a lot of more enjoyment out of their run. Our first product is an insole-based wearable device which has sensors fitted into the insole and that tracks how the runner's form and what kind of injuries the runner might be prone to in the long run. Any wearable device has four fundamental characteristics. Number one, all wearable devices are dedicated to a specific function. So for example, like the info that we are building, it's built for a person's run analysis, gait analysis. It's supposed to go inside a shoe. So most wearables, like even the fitness bracelets that we see, are geared towards fitness as an activity. So that's one of the fundamental characteristics. Second characteristic is that wearable devices are intensely personal, meaning that a designer and a person who's building the product, they have to care about how the product looks, whether that product matches the identity of the user, what kind of sizes the products will come in. So even for example, phones, mobile phones that have been considered to be intensely personal devices, a specific iPhone or a specific kind of phone would be generic and everybody could use it. But in wearable devices, you have to pretty much customize um, every wearable device look, function, feel, size to different categories of individuals. The third category, the third characteristic of wearable devices is that they need to have a long battery life. Wearable devices are inherently small. So how do you give user always connected kind of feel and always monitor monitoring kind of feel uh, with the small uh, form factor that you have and still uh, enable them to have a product that lasts an entire day. The fourth characteristic is that it needs to have a high degree of security and privacy. Wearable devices collect intensely personal data about you. So if you're wearing like a fitness bracelet or if you're wearing a new soul, it collects information about your heart rate, it collects information that is specific to you uh, and your, your, your identity. You don't want that kind of information out there in the public or potentially tapped by some other device. So you have to provide that kind of security and privacy as well. So what are the unique design challenges that are like? So the primary design challenges that go in such kind of wearable devices are selection of the right sensors and the right combination. We need to be able to select the right sensors and the right components so that we do not consume a lot of battery life as well as and we are able to give the right information to the end user. Apart from that, we need to look at the aesthetic and aspect of the design, wherein the UI and the data representation as well as the form of the wearable device is very appealing to the user. And like all wearable devices are extremely small, so battery life is a very, very primary concern for all wearable devices. And we need to design the wearable device in such a way that a single charge can last for weeks or months, and the device should be extremely low power and extremely optimized for such operations. The Stratagel actually consists of a pair of insoles, whereas most other fitness trackers use wrist-borne devices. Stratagel also kind of focuses on the user's running form and helps the user improve the running form and prevent injuries. The other unique item support Stratagelizer is that it collects data in a very, very unique manner. And this unique way of collecting data that we have devised is something that we have filed a patent for. 
The other great thing about standardized design is that the device and the local processing units do barely minimal processing that's needed and it ships out most of the processing to the cloud. So where we have maintained a very sophisticated biomechanical model of the human leg. And that model operates on a real-time basis, providing users real-time feedback. So we have to constantly maintain a sync between the mobile phone's app and the uh, server's algorithms that are running on a regular basis. So one of the major design challenges in the stratus was to use two devices and monitor both the devices at the same time. But most of our competitors use just one device and monitor just one device at the time. The other design challenges that we had in Stratus was that these devices actually reside in a person's shoe and they are supposed to work while the person is running. So they are subjected to intense amount of stress, heat and pressure as the person continues to run. Right? So we have to design our mechanical placement of the components we have to do our industrial design such that the sensors are able to collect the points where we have maximum pressure but the remaining components are shielded away from them. So the mechanical and the industrial design portion was one big challenge. The second big challenge that we had was that we have to constantly maintain a sync between the phone and the uh, cloud algorithm that runs. Now, the user when running, they could go into areas of low connectivity as well. So we have to build a dynamic syncing solution which caches data locally if the network connectivity is low or is not present in certain areas. And as soon as the network connectivity reappears, all the data will be synced back up again. So this is one of our prototypes for Stratalyzer, which has a Bluetooth low energy module and it has a microcontroller integrated within it and the anti-control. And the signal conditioning circuitry from the sensors is over here. The sensors are connected over here uh, and they go through some kind of signal, con signal conditioning circuitry and through the analog to digital conversion and gets fed into the Bluetooth low energy model. And all of this runs on a battery, coin cell battery. And so the sensors used for this prototype are very unique. We use piezoelectric sensors which do not require any power. The sensors are embedded within the insole over here and it absolutely is the user is not going to feel anything. And there are sensors uh, placed at very strategic locations on the sole. One, a few sensors are placed near the heel, a couple of them on the side and a couple of them on the, near the toe. So this is our next prototype where if you see all the circuitry has gone within the insole in this area the sensors are still under the foot of the insole and this cable is just as of now kept for debugging and programming the firmware eventually in the actual product this cable is not going to work for Stratalyzer's uh, app we have decided to go with a very minimalistic design and a very simple design which the user can feel very comfortable with while running and while using. So the first screen is a very basic running screen. The person just presses this button and the activity starts and the app connects to GPS, it connects to the device, collects all of the data and it keeps showing whatever is relevant. So this is a very very basic screen as you could see. However, this is the, in the next screen, our specific value comes in. Right? So this is a very real-time uh, demo of uh, how you, what you would actually see when you run. This is a uh, active, This is a pressure map of your feet as you run. We also provide you a pressure map of your knee, how the pressure uh, or how the stress reflects on your knee. So these are some of the very very unique things that we are doing with the, this particular product and this will help the user understand as to when they are running exactly at that point in time what kind of effect is that having in their body. Uh, beyond this we can't see it right now but if the user is doing something that they are not supposed to do or if there's that's something that they don't want to be doing on a regular basis they would get appropriate alerts on the left or the right uh, bubbles showing them that they need to correct something. 